So here he is out of the blue corner, the number one heavyweight contender fighting for the title here tonight. Daniel Cormier has eight championship belts at home. Do you remember, though, the nerves for your first UFC title fight? It's the most overwhelming thing you've ever <laughs> felt in your entire life. You are sitting in the back waiting for that moment where you get an opportunity to go chase something greater than yourself. So many people have played a part in getting this man to the spot. How does he deliver? How does he not let anyone down? How does he ultimately become the champion of the world? This is a big spot for him. He is so excited to try and become the man. While self-belief is a powerful thing, he has long thought that he is the best heavyweight in the world. Tonight, he gets a chance to prove it. Here he is, the undisputed baddest man on the planet, the UFC heavyweight champion. And man, does he have all the confidence and the self-belief that comes with that distinction. Yeah, when you're the baddest man on the planet, you are confident. You have to be a bit arrogant, a bit cocky. And that's what this guy has. He has been here on so many different occasions. This is like another night in the office, but you could never tell by the way that he prepares. When you watch him prepare, he treats every one of these defenses as if it's the first time he's fighting for a UFC championship. No, you put that well. He has had that patented intensity about him this week, trying to occupy some headspace in the challenger. Huge heavyweight title fight is upon us. Won't be long now, folks. All right, all the hype gives way to the action here. Both fighters have now touched down on the canvas, and we are ready to go from the Mecca, Madison Square Garden, here in New York, New York. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> for this round. All right, round one is underway. Here is the outstanding striker, the conditioned Du Ho Choi. The majority of his pro wins have come by knockout. They have come in round one. We'll see how it goes for Du Ho Choi here tonight. Counter jab snaps the head back. That should get his attention. Big shot to the head. Nice shot there by the champ. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Both fighters throwing heat now. It's just a really high pace, too. It's a really high striking pace for these two. Lands a beautiful leg kick. Oh, and there he goes, working off that jab again. How's your jab? I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab. But you realize that as MMA evolves, guys will start to fight behind a very educated jab. It's just like boxing. The most thrown punch in the first one you learn is a jab. Right. And in MMA, guys are starting to take that same approach because it is such an effective weapon. Unable to land the head kick there. 
Guess to the single collar tie now. That the guy that's going forward is the guy that's successful. All right, we told you off the top that he had a reach advantage, and he really is using it. Nice punch there. That's a right kick there. They're so evenly matched here. Bowen kicked the tag. We have crossed the midpoint here in our opening round. Oh, he didn't like that one. Side leg kick. And there he goes, lands another combination. His cardio is so good that, is, that it allows him to put forth this type of output and pace. When his opponent is done at two, he is stringing together four, five, six more different strikes. You don't do that without having fantastic cardio. Big punch to the body. Swing and a miss by Short. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Oh, setting up the left hook, but out of range. Good stick. Continues to stay busy. What do they say, DC? Punches in bunches? Punches in bunches. He's landing them upside his opponent's head over and over again. Throwing that jab, no good. Oh, and he tags him with the straight. Beautifully placed there by Choi. He's got to start moving his head. He cannot take this many shots to the head. Unable to connect with the right hand there. All right, so he continues to land that jab. His opponent said he was ready for it, but doesn't hear it. You're not ready until you're in there. You can watch all the film you want. You can spar as much as you want, but until you feel a guy with a fast jab like this, you don't understand the precision of that punch. Oh, how technical is that? Nice straight punch. Leg kick now. Clipped him with the right hand there. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. Not allowing his opponent to get any damage off on him by blocking all these attacks. Oh, roundhouse kick lands. Fifteen seconds to go. Glancing right hand lands on Spence. I mean, is this thing on repeat? How many times can you say punch to the head? Nice head kick. Uh, round two next. All right, there's the horn, so the round is over, but not before the fighter sustained that cut on his forehead. We'll see if the cut man can close it up and prevent it from becoming an issue here into the latter rounds. All right, so he survives to the stool, but he's going to need a plastic surgeon on Monday. Let us show you some of the strikes that caused that damage above the eye. Just beautiful striking on display. He found the target constantly. He opened up a big cut above the eye, and now he sees that he's got a wounded opponent in front of him. He is going to target that eye even more in this next round. You ready to fight? You ready? Second round underway. All right, next round is now underway. Do you see any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. Even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high-level mixed martial arts. Back to the jab now, no good. Nice defense to block that punch. These boys are standing right in front of each other, just kind of going at it. Choi's nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut, perhaps they're on the bridge. He 
gets to the single collar tie. Look for him to drive and move his opponent to find openings to land that free hand. Beautifully timed and place kick there by Chor. Oh, nice uppercut from the champion. Oh, right hook attempt, no good. Well, without much resistance, he continues to find a home for that jab, much like he did in the previous round. Choi's blocking well now. Made the adjustment, protecting what is an already damaged nose. Beautiful strike there as he continues to attack that cut. Cut man's gonna have some work to do if we get to the stool between rounds. But that's why we got the best in the business. We got the best cut men in the business, and they are going to need him right now because this cut is getting worse, and it's only gonna continue to get worse because he has got a killer in front of him. Just over three minutes to go. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. Ooh, and he caught the kick. Well, eventually you know he's going to turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defensive end this They talk about the feeling out process. He's getting his opponent's timing. Now he's blocking everything. Expect counters as we go forward. Choi's left leg is damaged now. Perhaps it was that last kick that did the damage, but you can see a clear limp that the fighter is dealing with right now. Always busy here at the clinch. Lands a nice punch there. Nice job defensively. Wake up! And they separate. Just over two minutes to go. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. He's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Back and forth we go. Well, he's not a one-legged fighter yet, but that calf starting to show some signs of bruising. If he takes many more, he's not going to be able to move. Oh, nice change up on the tempo. There's the hook in the clinch. Lands by the Korean Super Bowl. And follows up with another one. Oh, man, head kick lands. Relax. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, and now an uppercut. Finish. Finish. Don't stop. Keep going. All right, well, he rocked him pretty good, but he didn't sort of smell blood in the water, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, blood's in the water. You got to go and get it. You got to go find the finish. You cannot let him off the hook like that because now he's going to be motivated to try to go and hurt you as you hurt him. Choi's eye now closing up. Good kick. He's got that single collar tie. Oh, nice counter punch there. Again, we talked about... Oh. Seconds. The Korean Superboy gets plastered by that uppercut. All right, round three coming up next. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work but he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. You ready to fight? Ready. Go All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. 
All right, so next round underway here, and you got to admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. going back to the well with that left hand just out of range. All right, well, you can see in plain sight here, his leg is hurt, starting to limp a little bit. Yeah, you're starting to see him limping. I mean, you take so many leg kicks, you, you're gonna limp. It, it's, it's natural. You gotta check these kicks right now, or that's gonna happen. Good job defensively to block that punch. with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know when, when to fold him. him. Yep, absolutely. Joy gets back up again. Nicely done. Well, not sure if I... Oh! Goes down again! Oh, just a merciless approach here on the ground, continuing to target that cup. This is where he wants to be. Oh, and he's attacking Choke now. Ooh, arm triangle's in tight. It's getting in very tight. Okay, he's got it. That's it. Oh, somehow, some way he got out. These guys are back and forth, but the submission defense wins this transition. Beautiful transition. Now inside the closed guard. And he's gonna try to... Submission attempts in bunches, another one here. What a tight arm ball. He's got it, he's got it. Oh, submission defense on full display there. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the octagon and it showed in that defense. All right, so some high-level stuff there on the ground, but as they make their way back to the feet, a huge response from the crowd, no surprise. There. I love it. I love all the grappling that was on display there, but fight fans want to see striking. Oh! That'll do it! Holy smokes! With a massive highlight at the garden. Oh, my Lord. Here we go inside the octagon for the official decision to Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 40 seconds of the third round. We're playing the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. So there is the man they are all still chasing in the UFC heavyweight champion, the undisputed king of the big boys, getting it done here tonight by way of the knockout. 
and his corner is absolutely thrilled with the effort and the result here tonight. He was measured, and when there was an opportunity to seize the finish, he certainly steamrolled right through it. Congratulations to the still UFC heavyweight champion of the world.